Hey everyone and welcome to Carpool Studio Insights. Today we are doing studio insights from my car because why not? Would you like to introduce the video? <laughs> no, go. <laughs> um, so Studio Insights is an opportunity for us as a team to learn from each other, to share what we've been learning um, and basically improve as practitioners. Um, hopefully there will not be that many cars driving past <laughs> as we progress with this episode but I think it always adds a lot of value to us and we find that our community gets a lot of value from it too. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for learning with us. And Victoria, would you like to ask the first question? Yes. I'm just going to read mine off my phone because it was a bit long. But my question is for both of you. Okay. Um, so as a team, we're always looking to improve um, our skills and take things to the next level. Um, and after over the past few months, we've been trying to put processes in place that give us the opportunity to do that, mm -hmm. um, which has been things like doing more team brainstorming activities, mm -hmm. going on our excursions to get inspiration and that kind of thing. Um, so I want you both to kind of like reflect on how you think those things have impacted our work mm -hmm. um, and just talk a bit about that, like what, how doing that has like improved our work hopefully or mm -hmm. like what it's achieved for us. It sounds very <laughs> like a question I would ask. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. You go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I think, so we did brainstorming recently for a project. And I think the outcome of that was really good. Um, I've always been a bit like, oh, like I forget about brainstorming or I don't do it properly. But for this project, we did do brainstorming. And even though like we had to like... We couldn't do like everything we wanted but we just from that session like we did get some great ideas and the feedback that came from the client was like incredible like we were all the client even like called to tell us how happy they were and it was like a really nice project like it went really really well and we're super proud of it so i think that brainstorming was like super helpful for that like it's just shown the importance of it mm. to take things next level you go because i'm still thinking Mm, okay. <laughs> um, well, I think the breakdown on that is like we've talked about, for example, brainstorming for so long mm. and we have the time to do it, but because it hasn't been specified in the project plan, we didn't allocate the time. We just absorbed it into like storyboarding. Mm. So itemizing it as a, an actual task in our project at the relevant times mm. has been helpful to hold us accountable. Mm. Yeah. Um, I'd probably say role modeling some of that those kinds of things as well like a lot of the time we have permission to do things but it's not until one person steps up and does it and then we're like oh I want to do that too because I can mm. see the impact yeah. um the processes that we've put in place I think when you don't put the things in place then they fall down and they cause us some sort of pain mm. so then it gives us like the motivation to actually prioritize for example even the mm. brainstorming what now that wasn't too much pain but what i heard from you guys is like oh i wish we would do this mm. and i'm like but you have permission to do it mm. and then i know that you want it so much so mm. it was like physically going in and going you must brainstorm for yeah. this project <laughs> yeah um so yeah, if you're talking of, I guess, venting or talking about it over and over and doing nothing with it, mm. I know I personally can't handle that. So it's like, okay, we'll take action on yeah. it. And then yeah, that's when it was it. stopping and prioritizing it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you got yeah. others? Um, no, continue. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think it is respecting each other as well for me and going that's gonna make the other person's life easier like mm. they voice that that's a important how do we make that improvement mm. um because we know it's going to benefit and the mm. respect to actually do that for the other person mm. um yeah and then it, it's only a slight adjustment for example in my process to do it but i know that it has a big benefit on mm. you guys yeah I think it kind of helps us all like get on board with the same things mm. as well because mm. like we're all involved in the ideas from the start yeah it's not like just a developer or something coming at coming mm. in at the end it feels like more in unison yeah yeah 
and I think yeah, that I helps agree. us like work a bit better together like we're all on the same mm. page yeah and we knew like everyone knows like what the vision was for the project because mm. yeah. we were all like creating it together yeah yeah I've noticed that a lot more recently mm. and that's come from feedback from you guys because in the past it was like me doing that high level overarching mm. liaising with the client and you guys were kind of like there might have been something falling through in the project management side of it yeah or like communication was a little bit more difficult mm. yeah and you guys were saying oh well we need this information up yeah. front or we need yeah, more of this so information useful. so like yeah. yeah we i guess that comes back to what we've said is like the respect mm. to then put it into place so now you mm. get like a team brief and you know Love exactly that. what i yeah. know at the very beginning yeah we have the opportunity to ask questions and then that informs how we plan the projects as well mm. and we are getting together more I don't know how this is impacting like the overall time of a project because we sp are spending a lot of time talking up front with tasks and trying mm. to work out how will this work what's the implications of that mm. action mm. there's more time happening in the planning I feel that that time in the planning sometimes it can be a bit painful Mm. and seem like it's time to by painful I mean like oh my god we're spending so much time planning mm. right now yeah. to figure yeah. this out but then when I think about the successes of the projects they're actually taking less time overall to mm. do yeah. they're getting better results yeah the actual day um, is like yeah the, the project yeah. itself is way yeah. easier when we spend so much time trying to work it out mm. at the beginning yeah I think that's because there isn't you're not coming in like late in the project and being like I don't know what this person wanted or what they mean by this mm. like you're saving that time mm. you're using that time earlier and all planning it together instead yeah. of mm. one person planning it and then people spending time trying to figure it out yeah later. definitely yeah yeah 100 yeah mm. it's been a lot better I feel like just communicating as well like sharing things with each other because mm. like with the most recent project that we finished yesterday um like me planning that as PM, like I knew all of this. Project manager. In, yeah, sorry, project manager. Um, I had like lots of insight from you about how the development side worked. Yeah. So that helped me plan like the next steps. And mm. that was so, like, I feel like it went so smoothly yeah. finalizing mm. that project where in the past I'd be probably making an assumption and then you'd be like, that doesn't work. And yeah. then you'd be like working around it to mm. try and make it work and take longer. Yeah. But everything just like flowed really mm. well. Mm. And now it's like done. It felt really easy. Mm. So I think it's definitely worth it. Mm. And I think as well, like the integrity to take action on things. So like for our excursions and like our learning time, we're actually looking at how we apply that to our mm. work. So like that project that you were talking about where you got really good feedback, we, you know, that's come from our excursions and the learning and mm. our commitment to replicate the real world and mm. do something that's going to add value to the learner's life. And then we're applying it yeah so it's not wasted time as well so we yeah I, that's helped i think as well yeah to be inspired and to take action on it to prioritize our clients and deliver on good solutions and to inspire through our solutions means that we need to be inspired but it's not wasted time it's like making the link between our it's valuing our development to serve mm. our learners and our clients better mm. yeah I agree and doing that yeah yeah and even having like in an ear out and or like an eye open in the real world for things like even listening to sword and scale we love that podcast like hearing their sound effects yeah. i was like interesting like that's how we did ours and it was had a really good outcome yeah. so just like when you hear things that you like figuring out what it is you like about it and it's like our excursions 100 percent, but also mm. yeah whatever you do in your like your personal life as well things might be like oh that was done really well how can we use that yeah and i think that's useful. that's true because that is like inspiration from the real world like you guys listen to this podcast it has certain things in it we look at websites or we look at instagram posts or whatever and we have a document where we we collate all of that stuff mm. and I think for that project when I initially they were like what can you do with this boring content mm. basically I don't know if they called it boring <laughs> um they it was like a long word document mm. and they wanted to like really um shake up 
how it was presented. They wanted to shake up the learner experience mm. and focus on behavior change, which was amazing. Mm. So when that was the brief, I was able to go to our inspiration board and like go like it's all collective like inspiration from yeah. each of the things that we think is cool and looking at that and then going what is going to change behavior mm -hmm. and shake up this current experience because that's the desire yeah it's just doing all the things that they say in the industry and in the instagram quotes and in yeah, youtube videos and they're like action. this is amazing yeah. and then yeah it's taking action on all yeah. that stuff yeah, yeah. So if you hear a good thing that will add value to your life, put it into practice. Basically. Yeah, yeah, that's what I feel. Yeah. Hmm. Does that answer your question enough? Vic, yeah. Do you have any more to add, Vic? Because I feel like no. that's the collective. <laughs> no, I think we've covered a lot. Yeah, covered a lot. it's fucking worth it. Mm. <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, Kim, would you like to ask your question? Sure. Yes, Hannah. <laughs> I like having this control of you to <laughs> ask questions for <laughs> Um, my question is for you. So going on for last Studio Insights, we were talking about being overwhelmed and how do you prioritize <laughs> in that moment? And you like the project that you happened to be doing at that time had 472 tasks and Hannah was feeling overwhelmed. I wonder why. <laughs> um, so you've had like basically a week to kind of practice what's working from those tips. What is adding value? Um, I think it's like just being aware of the overwhelm mm. like and stopping and taking the time to like calm down before continuing the things so like yesterday because like lots of things change and there was like i had two projects on at once so it was like very overwhelming trying to like figure it all out as well as do a task at the same time so it was lucky like you noticed it and said <laughs> like step away and take like deep breaths sort of thing and even, like just doing that was super helpful because it put me in the mindset of being like, you don't have to be stressed, like just do what you can mm. in the situation. So I think just like stopping and not like powering forward. Um, making a list, like I've had like my iPad with like a list of everything that needs to happen and the order, like some things need to happen before other things and you don't think about the thing on the end of the list till the first thing's done. That's cool. Yeah. Um, I think like thinking about what's the best action to take and not the easiest. Cause I think in the past I might be like, I don't want to call the client. So I'll just email them. <laughs> but now I'm like, what's going to be, what's going to get us like closer to the goal and just like not worrying about like fear or anything like that. So there's been like times where I'm like, just call the client, like just go and do it. Oh, that's cool. And that like cuts out a lot of stress. Cause I'm not like waiting for an email back or anything like that. Yeah. Um, definitely asking for help like I don't always want to have to ask for help but it has been very like useful mm. especially like Victoria and I this morning were looking at something together and just getting both of our insight as people in the project was helpful rather than trying to come up with it for myself because you can come up with some things but I do think there's things you'll miss yeah when you're like thinking about lots of different things so that's been helpful too that's cool well good mm. on you for putting it into practice <laughs> Like it could definitely be not perfect easy at it to it was, be like yeah overwhelmed yesterday but yeah but even those things in one week it could be yeah. easy for you to just be like oh no like I've just been aware yeah. but like you yeah, like yeah. pretty much everything you said like we discussed last week yeah. you're like hmm. seeing benefit from so yeah pause prioritize yeah um what's that take thing? a deep breath well that's my pause get help ask for help do the hard actions if it's gonna make things easier yeah. Mm. What's the most effective? Not next necessarily action. like what you want to do, but what's the most effective? Yeah, cool. Yeah. Is that how you, you would think like that? Hey, like even if you don't want to have a conversation, you don't feel like it. If yeah. It's better then off, I you pause do it. and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> what should I actually do? Yeah. Uh, get over yourself, Kim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. All right. Well, my question. Are you finished? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard with the mask. So I like, don't know where people are at. <laughs> it's like you're smiling though, so I think it's fine. <laughs> um, so I've noticed with you, you've been like really, really good at estimating projects. Mm. So <laughs> the projects that That's I've <laughs> I have been back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no time when you mess. <laughs> the projects that I've been scheduling, like I always reach out to you because you're generally the developer. 
and I'm like, what do you think? Like, how long do you think this would take? And I think you've, you've been really good at not getting overwhelmed and just like getting back a time to me as well as bringing things up. Yeah. Like, I love how you just like, that's not going to work because of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So I'm just wondering like, what have you learned through like practicing estimating and like, yeah, how are you, how have you got to where you are? Cause I feel like you're very good at it now. Um, I think probably the main thing is not rushing to estimate. Like I used to kind of feel if I'd have you asked how long will this take that it was like, you want me to just respond straight away and say it'll be this mm. or this. Um, which I guess was just an assumption I made from you sending that message. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now I, I definitely take like a lot more time to actually figure out like each part of the task. Mm. Um, so I'm trying to think of an example, like for animation or something, like how long is the script? What kind of scenes do they, like, is it mm. going to be similar to something we've done for them before? Or is mm. it something new? Um, just, yeah, like figuring out exactly what's involved in each part of the task, even though it is just like, how long will this video take? Like there's a lot of steps involved within that. Mm. Whereas before I just kind of jumped to like, oh, I think it would be <laughs> this mm. long. Um, so yeah, taking the time to like roughly plan it out and estimate based on that. Another thing is like, I feel like I overestimate now, whereas before I think I was always cutting myself mm, short, but things do actually take me not longer, but like the time I take is longer than what I think it will take. Yeah. Um, and I think that did come down to like, I didn't want to say an, an estimate that you guys would be like, that's ridiculous. Why would it take so long? Yeah. Not that you've ever said that, but I think in my head, I was like, I don't want to go back and yeah. they'd be like, what the hell are you talking about? Kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but now I'm like, well, it does actually take that long. So yeah. Yeah. Can't... Sometimes we underestimate what things can take. Yeah. Um, and like, and if I say like 10 hours for something, like sometimes I think I used to think that would be like, they'll never agree to that or whatever mm. it is, but some things take 10 hours. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not being afraid that's good to. Insight yeah um yeah not being like afraid and not like doubting what the time yeah. is yeah yeah because i know i'm basing it off what i can actually achieve do yeah um and what else i think it is yeah just like better planning for yeah i like like not assuming things when you were estimating animations like you'd sent through row by row like this row i'll need to edit this row i'll need to edit that'll take 10 minutes that'll mm. and i thought that was really good because it really did like it showed that you'd actually thought about it yeah and like broken it down mm. and not just went oh maybe like two hours yeah i think that is important for people because you don't want to like agree to something and then like it takes you three times longer mm. and you don't get paid yeah. yeah so i think it's really good that you do that and it's good for me as project manager because i can like plan the project properly yeah. And it's not like, oh my god, it's taken way longer or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. I can't really think of anything else at the moment. <laughs> I reckon you've like achieved it. Like you know how you said you wanted to get better at it? Mm. I feel like you've mm. reached it now. That's a good milestone. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. I still find it stressful sometimes though. I think it's harder when it's stuff that I haven't done that often. Mm. Like it's good when New you have things. something to base it on. Yeah. But Sometimes I'm like, if I've never done it, then yeah. I actually don't know how you yeah. <laughs> come up with it for that. Yeah. So how would you? I don't know. <laughs> and I asked you something the other day and I was like, we we didn't have the content and we didn't know what they actually wanted. Yeah. Like when it was a video, but that was all. And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> all of this is like just imaginary. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I did look at something that was di like a different video and said if it's mm. like that it will be this but I also said to like being honest and saying, that's like, why I liked honesty yeah. yeah I said like I'm not this is what I've based it on but yeah there's like so many like variables in it like yeah I'm not confident that that's all it's going to take yeah mm. but that's like the best I can it's so good though because you saying <laughs> things like that it means like oh I need to like figure that part out before I plan yeah. like it's good that you flag those things yeah 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 I think that's it. Well done. <laughs> All right. Would anyone else like to add anything? Check out the link in the description. There's tons of templates and resources that will add value to your life. Go check them out. What's up, awesome human? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of myself and the Bell Vista Studios team for continuously choosing to learn with us. We really appreciate it. 
If the tips and the insights and the context resonate with you and you want to take your skills to the next level or you want to make your life way easier, you will love our Creator Hub. The Creator Hub is a place for people like you and us. Basically, it's the stuff that we use internally at Bell Vista Studios and then we just share it publicly with you. The Creator Hub is created by instructional designers for instructional designers. And what you'll love there at the moment is we've got a quiz could I be a better instructional designer that has so much tips in the feedback if you're interested in human-centered design or just taking your skills to the next level in terms of the solutions you're creating, the problems you want to solve. But in there as well, aren't we cute? That's us. Um, but we've got the coaching courses, freebies, give us gratitude, and also we've got some templates. And basically they're always around the lens of learning experience design, instructional design, and e-learning. So a human-centered design focus is very much what we're about at Bell Vista Studio. So putting your learners at the heart of a solution and creating something for their needs. So there's the human-centered design stuff, and then we've also got the business stuff. So this is the stuff they don't teach you about when you want to become a freelancer or a consultant in the instructional design world. So go check it out. The link is in the description. You can check out everything that is available for you. Thank you for choosing to learn with us. Continuously invest in your skills. You will be rewarded as an instructional designer. Share this stuff, share it with other people because when we are better instructional designers, we create better solutions that create better humans that create a better world. So we have a very important role and I'm excited to be on this journey with you. Have an awesome day.